Welcome back to RB Sensei. To my diehard fans, make sure you watch at least until 9 minutes because watch time is the most important factor to this channel growing and being successful. To new watchers, if you like this video at any point, like and comment. Be sure to follow me on Rumble, Discord, or Twitter. Links below. Because who knows how long they're going to let me stay on the tube. Now let's get into this ridiculous nonsense. F*** you, Jack. What's your opinion on ghosting? I'm pro-ghost. Do the ghost. I don't need a paragraph about why you don't like me after one date. Just <laughs> pretend you didn't see the last message. I swear to God, I hate that we've normalized. You have to explain to me what you don't like about me. Most people just don't want to deal with them because on average, they just are not good, genuine people to be around. They're good to look at. They're good to work in brothels. They're good to, you know, try to take over a bar. They're good when they're handing you food as they like they're a waitress or they're on a call center call or something like that. But anything other than that, we like we really don't want 85% of y'all around. Just leave. You know, <laughs> like it's sad to say, but it's the tree, it's the reality on it. I mean, yeah, women don't want to hear that. Women can't take criticism. They can't take rejection. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't want to know why. You don't like them. If you tell them why you don't like them, they're going to try to explain to you why you should. And then they're going to go off on you about, you know, why that's a bullshit reason. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that now in advance. Don't fall for that trap. Just tell me why you don't like me. I'll leave you alone. Just please just tell me. Don't do it. We'll sleep with you once, you fall in love with him, and you will never hear from him again. Doesn't want anything to do with her except for using her for a wormhole. Do you love her? Yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? Uh, no. Yeah, I think I prefer the ghost too. Like, don't pretend like we friends and every once in a while say what you're doing just so it don't seem like, you know, you ghosted me. Just ghost me, bitch. Just ghost me. You're goddamn right. It's not normal. <laughs> just rip apart my entire <laughs> existence. I just wanted to get a taco, okay? If it's been less than like two, three dates, that is so insulting to know that he didn't like you after so little time. <laughs> I think it's fine if it's like not a long time. Do you know what I mean? Because if someone ghosts you, you're like, okay, they're not worth it. If you ghost someone after like a year or you ghost your kid, that's pretty <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I knew a guy who got ghosted after like a year. Like, and right before she ghosted him, she wrote this letter about how great he was and yada, yada, yada. Not like a goodbye letter, but, or maybe it was a text. <laughs> what am I talking about? People don't write letters anymore. I don't know. They were talking and she was just talking about how wonderful he is and how she never met anybody like him. And then she just ghosted him. <laughs> Scarred him pretty bad. Because, I mean, when I knew him, this was like a year or two ago. But he was still talking about it all the time. Women, generally speaking, are just kind of awful. She's freaking horrible. Get out of here, dude. You're going to hell. I hope that brother healed by now. I hope you're healed. People are out here complaining. Oh, he ghosted me after two dates. It's like some people's fathers just left and never <laughs> called them again. Calm down. Not even a happy birthday card. Also, people only like the guy after they ghost. It's like a, you have an attachment issue. You were like, oh, the date was fine. And then he hasn't called you for a week. And you're like, he's the love of my life. Isn't it ironic? Right. Because once you reject them and humble them, they fall in love with you. When you kiss their butt, they fall out of love with you. There's nothing that piques a woman's interest like you rejecting her or treating her like, you know, you could do without her. I'll do it all the time, right, because I don't like confrontation, but don't do it to me. That's rude. What kind of shit is that? It happened to me one time, and I thought he actually died. I was like, he must be dead, because why would you ghost me? Like, you're boring. I was, the, I was the personality. Right. No, like, see, when women have personality, it just means they're freaking annoying. Like, that's women's two extremes. They're usually really boring or really over-the-top obnoxious. But they think, I just have a really cool personality. I have a really exciting personality. See what I mean? That's fentanyl. I was annoyed the first three seconds this woman got on the screen. She looks ridiculous. I wouldn't talk to her. Like, I... <laughs> If I saw her coming up to me, about to talk to me, I would turn around and go the other way. I reactivated my Facebook page to see if this man was alive. I was like, oh, maybe people will be posting, like, sad things about him. And I was so upset that he wasn't dead. You posted, you're like, rest yeah, in I'm peace. Yeah, like, he must be dead. He used to ride bikes. And I remember I got, I got a citizen notification that someone died on a bike. And I was like, oh, clearly, <laughs> it's him. I can't, it's not Oscar. It's this guy. He's dead. Girl said earlier in the show, she makes over a million dollars a year. As a woman who makes seven figures, like, my money does not retain my relationship. Like, Watch what she does when Steve Will Do It comes in. That's the question. Yeah. Uh, no, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's safe to say 
that a woman who makes seven figures isn't scrambling to snatch up what? I don't know, a few hundred dollars or even if it was a thousand dollars. Even if she didn't make seven figures, even if she worked at Burger King, have some fucking class. You know what I mean? Have some dignity for God's sake. I'm not allowed to go visit my dad anymore. He's like, I don't want to be seen in public with you. There's no bigger turn off than feeling expected to have sex with someone. So even if you do feel like, okay, yes, in a relationship, there should be a healthy amount of sex. Do not ever come across to your woman like you're expecting it from them because they're immediately going to be turned off. I don't care. Like, it's your job, damn it. If your man want to get laid, give it up to him. God, you're sick. It's one of the few things you really bring to a relationship other than nagging and bitching. Like, if you're going to make me jump through hoops to just get sex from you, then yeah, why are we together? Most men don't make their woman jump through hoops to get provision and protection from them. You know, if a dude broke in when y'all in the middle of having a fight, he's still going to jump in front of the bullet. Complete nonsense. Women want all of what men bring to the table to be mandatory, and everything they bring to the table, they want to negotiate on a daily basis. It ain't right! Do you want access to two to three exclusive live streams that won't be available to my basic subscribers? Not really, no. Are you tired of listening to these stupid ads? Yes. Do you want access to over 70 exclusive unseen episodes? No. No need. Do you want to see my videos at least one day early and be a complete alpha Chad Or a G'd up Tyrone? What kind of shit is that? Then I got news for you, champ. For $5 a month via Subscribestar or Patreon, you can get all that. And if you want the convenience of staying on YouTube, you can join the YouTube membership for $10 a month. Nigga, no! It almost would be better to trick yourself into thinking you're not expecting it or you don't care. And immediately, if a woman thinks you don't care if you have sex with them or not, they're going to be more turned on. The NBA player, when he slid in your DMs, what did he put? This is fantastic. Oh, just a period. But I feel like everyone already knows Stop. about that. Really? Yeah. My nigga. <laughs> it's like but, ultimate fuckboy behavior. Yeah, but I imagine he probably sends that to like every like right. Instagram model he likes and then yeah. he sees who answers. And she answered. But we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna dive into that. We're gonna dive into how creepy celebrities and NBA players are. But she's not gonna talk about what she did and how thirsty she was after he sent the period. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love it when whores try to act like they're on the moral high ground. After they dealt with a celebrity who they probably knew was married or, you know, something like that. Don't tell me you're innocent. Because it insults my intelligence. Confidence on getting a guy's number. A ten. A nine. So y'all want to test that out? Yeah, we can test it out. No, she can. I'm good. Gotcha, bitch. She said her confidence on getting the guy's number is, a, I think she said a nine or a ten. You know, but when it was time to actually put it in action, no, I'm good. Yeah, because women can say anything. But when it comes to actually going out there in the field and making shit happen, yeah, their true nature comes out. <laughs> it sounded cute to say, oh, my confidence is an honor or a 10. But yeah, she can't handle rejection. She knows she's bigger. She knows she's, you know, disadvantaged in the dating market. Control your weight. Don't let it control you. You're going to need a bigger boat. But just another example of why you should watch what a woman does and not listen to what she says. She can, I'm good. Oh, come on, what's up? Wait, so you said you had no girlfriends? Yeah, no girlfriend. So I was wondering if I can get your number? Get my number? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, look. Respectfully, I'm going to decline that. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be thinking about that rejection for at least six months. <laughs> It's going to take a lot of simps and betas to restore her self-esteem. It's going to take a lot of thirst traps for six months to restore her self-esteem back to where it was before <laughs> she had to face that calamity. This says me trying to convince myself to like the guy that's not my type because my type isn't getting me anywhere. Yeah, you're done. I'm tired of sisters like you running our reputation in the ground because you pick poorly. Just keep getting played by Chad and used by Chad until you age out and then focus on something else. Focus on being a humanitarian or something. 
Do not ruin some good guy's life. Keep being cringe and eating on TikTok. Just keep doing what you normally do. Until you spiral into mental illness. Severe mental illness. You're already mentally ill now, but you know. Or just become another old, washed up, wrinkly dating guru on TikTok. And try to convince young women that, you know, you're the person they should listen to even though you failed for a lifetime at dating. He's a good man, Savannah. A good man. So I only date guys that give me level 10 effort and I'm going to tell you exactly how that looks based on a guy that I've recently started dating. One, when we were messaging on dating apps, he was giving me long extensive answers. He was really engaged, asking me questions, keeping the conversation going. She only date dudes who give her level 10 effort, but <laughs> she's in her 30s and still not married and snatched up. So obviously giving level 10 effort don't work out because <laughs> she's not with any of the guys that she dated that gave level 10 effort. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? Within just a few days, he asked for my phone number, played a date on his own, and drove out to my city to come meet me. He then paid for our brunch, and then he also knew how bad I wanted dark chocolate covered strawberries, and that I was gonna go take myself to get some. So he came with me, and he insisted on paying, and bought me some, and sat there with me, and asked me very deep questions about all things life. I had a man who I thought was the one, because he would write me little love letters in the morning before work. Right. He would do all the sweet stuff. Mm. But he was, too much of a simp, where he's like, I would get scared of you. So I'm like, yo, I talk like this, and I'm from Brooklyn, so I'm a little mad, you know? And he's like, nah, whoa, whoa. And he did all this for a woman with a nose ring, who's clearly over 30, past the wall, and who thinks it's a good idea to wear a leopard print. Think about that. Come on, man. <laughs> See, more men need to find these type of channels to avoid this type of nonsense he did all that and what does she do in return make a video about him <laughs> do you think she returned any of these favors no he was just part of the plot for her next stupid video on social media and it, that to me that's level 10 for the second date he offered to come pick me up even though it was super out of his way and he'd be doing a lot of doubling back but he came to pick me up, that's level 10. Then he also had a big bouquet of flowers right there that he stopped at the store to get on his way there, that's level 10. He bought us tickets to a comedy show because he knew I enjoyed comedy. I know myself, I will lose respect for you if you can't say no to me. You see where you're going wrong? Stop sucking this chick sphincter. And just, you know, act like you've been in the end zone before. After these messages, we'll be right back. What did he get in return? Like, can you tell me something you did for him? Like, you're a bad person. <laughs> that you even feel comfortable letting the dude do all of this. Let me guess, you pretended like, oh, you don't have to do that. You did that whole thing. If you really were a good person, you would seriously be like, please do not do it. I do not want you to do it. Please. Like, seriously, I'm not just saying that. Women lack so much self-awareness that they think this is like a flex and they don't realize how off-putting they're coming across to men and to decent women. That's level 10. I told him how cool the sushi spot sounded that he described to me, so he wanted to take me to that spot. That is level 10. That sushi spot was also really overpacked, so he kindly was like, let's just go to a different location. Went to another one, was not in a bad mood when they were overly packed. He's like, but we're still going to get sushi. Drove to another one, didn't care. By our third spot, we got dinner. Nobody is going to respect him. <laughs> Everybody's war runs about, yeah, you know he just... Like, and what do you think motivated this man to do all of this? Do you think it's because she has a mind-blowing personality and she's so interesting? No. It's because he thought she was pretty for some reason. That's it. That's really it. I don't understand the concept of trying to impress a woman I don't know like that. I'm getting the vibe that they haven't been dating for six months to a year. I, I could never try to impress a woman I don't know like that. I don't know if you're a good person. Well, I know most of you aren't good people. <laughs> so that's one reason why I definitely wouldn't try to impress you. I mean, a woman would really... Well, actually, I don't think there's any circumstance where I would do all this. Even for my wife of 20 years. <laughs> Women just aren't worth this much effort. I'm sorry. I'm not a devil, and by no means am I a monster. If you have to do all this before you even feel like she likes you back, she doesn't like you.
Think about all the guys who hit her with the sprinkler system who didn't do one one hundredth of this. And she was disgusted by all of this. She like, this dude is such a spineless punk and I'm never sleeping with this dude. But I appreciate the ass kissing. I mean, I'm having a good time. <laughs> having this punk spoil me. That's a damn shame. You get to say that about a woman. Why can't you say women are wrong when they're wrong? You want to be making moves on the street. You have no attachments. Allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat. Okay, first of all, I didn't miss the red flags. I looked at them and thought, damn, that's sexy. And that's my problem. 